this is Preeti from Analytics India magazine and in today's episode we will be having a conversation with Gaurav Srivastava who is just a 14 year old boy studying in 9th grade who knows more than 7 programming languages and has also created a virtual assistant with Python. Let's take a glimpse into his project and then go ahead and talk to him. Okay Python. Yes, tell me what to do. Search Wikipedia. What do you want to search on Wikipedia? Republic of India. India. Officially the Republic of India. Hindi. Bharat Gandharaja is a country in South Asia. It is the second most populous country. The seventh largest country by area. And the most populous democracy in the world. Okay Python. Yes, tell me what to do. Who are you? I am your assistant Python. Okay Python. Yes, tell me what to do. Coming to the first question, let's begin with your introduction. I am 14 years old uh, and I am currently studying in class 9 in St. Amar Jaipuriya School, Lucknow. Due to the current circumstances, we apologize for the quality of the video, but we've added subtitles for your convenience. Could you tell us more about the project that you've made? So, I was really inspired by Tony Stark's Edith and Friday. Uh, and I uh, knew the basics of Python, so I thought why not implement these to make uh, a virtual assistant of my own. So, first of all, I use the Google API for speech recognition. So, it uh, recognizes the speech and converts it into a text. So, whatever I said, it uh, used to get the information, convert it into text and then I use the module play sound. So, that uh, played the sound of whatever I told it. Uh, then for the information, I used the uh, web scraping of Google, uh, Wikipedia module and uh, time date module etc. How many programming languages do you know? So I have learned C++, HTML, CSS, Java, uh, Python, uh, I am uh, familiar with Arduino uh, that uses C interface, uh, QBasic and I have recently learned uh, R. Uh, for data visualization. Uh, I was introduced to programming when I was in class 5. C++ was the first language I learned. Uh, from then on, uh, I had some problems uh, with uh, uh, how to do these projects. So, I, when I searched these on internet, I found that uh, these projects are much efficient and easy to do with some other languages. So, I learned them and I keep explored and started exploring them. I learned R from edX and Coursera. I've recently started computer vision, uh, image processing and uh, RNNs, that is recurrent as a neural network. Lastly, what advice would you like to give to other students? I want to give is um, keep exploring and keep learning, do not stop. Uh, many of the people in this uh, age try that uh, everyone is forcing them to learn, they don't like learning. And they feel like if they uh, don't learn, they'll be cool. Uh, that's just opposite. So I would uh, want to say that keep exploring and keep learning. Thank you so much for having this conversation with us. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.